Hello and welcome back to my stamp studio. I cannot tell you how excited I am today to finally be bringing a class to go card kit using the Forever Greenery Suite. I have waited and waited and waited patiently for these products to come off back order to offer this kit. It's been a popular one, that's for sure, and there's a good reason why, because it's absolutely gorgeous. I knew when I saw it in the then newly released annual Stampin' Up! 2020-21 catalog back in June, I had to have it and show it off. Because I love all of it so much, I will begin today by showing you the products included in the suite before I show you some idea cards and then the class to go kit cards and demonstration. So you can find the suite on pages 108, 109, and 110 of the catalog. And I'm trying to hold this so there's no glare. I'm sorry, I apologize for that. But there are some beautiful pictures of some idea cards here. And you can see very quickly how they have mixed some beautiful shades of greens and blues uh, to make this beautiful suite. In addition uh, to the um, products on that page, there's, here's the stamp set that goes with it. And there's also a few more cards um, as uh, sample cards here on this page as well. So enjoy those pages and looking through that uh, to see that all this suite includes. Okay, so I thought I would just go through and show those to you real quick. I want to show you the uh, Forever Greenery Designer Series paper that is part of this suite. And as I show you the pattern paper here, I'm going to tell you the colors that coordinate with this suite. So there's Garden Green, Pear Pizzazz, Just Jade, Pretty Peacock, Shaded Spruce, and soft sea foam. Absolutely gorgeous. Mix of all of Stampin' Up's best greens and blues. If I flip it over, this is the other sides. Again, all those beautiful, cool shades of green and blue that mix and match so beautifully. Just love this paper. All right, in addition to the paper, this suite also has Forever Gold Laser Cut Specialty Paper. And I just struggled a little bit with how to show this to you, but they come in 12 by 12 sheets here, and they are all perforated so that they punch out super easy. You get some wreaths, you get some larger kind of fern, almost Boston fern images there. You get some uh, cutouts with some leaves over on the sides. And then you get a lot of smaller little individual gold leaves that are easy to pop into things. And I'm going to show some of those two here on a sample in just a minute. So in addition to that sheet, you also have this gold sheet. And these are all cutouts that are four by five that layer nicely on the background of a card. So you can see how easy it would be to use these uh, as a layering piece back behind. So as part of the pack, you will get four sheets of each of these. So it's a pretty good deal. You have a lot to play with. What is a suite without some embossing folders? The embossing folders that come with this suite are the greenery embossing folders. You can see that they're just a little bit more narrow here than our regular embossing folders. You get two designs. One is this one with some kind of linear leaves here. And the other one is this one that's a little different. The embossed images are just at the top and the bottom of the folder. So that's only, uh, it just picks it up on the tops and bottoms of your cardstock then, and it just creates kind of a nice little effect here, I think. Okay, so those are the embossing folders. And then what's a suite without some embellishments? So you have the gold hoops, which I have used in a past class to go kit. They are 
Just a beautiful little accent to add to a card. So easy to use. They come in a pack of 10. And then you also get the Forever Greenery Trim Combo Pack. So you get this nice, pretty, neutral, cream-colored, um, very soft, uh, airy ribbon here. You can actually see through it a little bit, so it's a little sheer. And then uh, this beautiful gold trim that I'm in love with. I can't stop using it. Just beautiful, especially for holiday cards. And then, of course, we have to round out the suite with a stamp set and dies. So the stamp set has these uh, nice six uh, leaf stamps. And then the greetings that go with this stamp set are, you can do this, hello, love and laughter forever after, to a friend that makes me smile. So it's a stamp set of 11 stamps. It is a cling mount stamp set. It coordinates with the Forever Green dies, and these are absolutely beautiful. And it's a huge set that you're gonna get here. So in addition to six dies coordinating with these six leaf stamped images here, you also receive some pretty little uh, decorative uh, leaf uh, dies and then a beautiful larger one and then kind of a little bit uh, medium sized one there too that act as kind of nice little backgrounds almost remind me again of like a Boston fern. So obviously some you can use with stamps but then some you can use for accenting. So the bundle sells for $54 so I think a very good deal for all that you're getting here and I just want to show you some idea cards to use or to show to give you an idea of all that you can do with this. So the first one just shows off products from the suite. It's on Just Jade cardstock with a little bit of the designer series paper back behind. The very vanilla piece here is run through one of the embossing folders. The gold hoop is there and some of the greenery here just on the bottom edge of that and then some of the uh, gold laser uh, popped in back behind there. Just a sweet little hello that comes in this set with a little bit of linen thread uh, tied with a bow there. The next card shows off some of the Forever Gold Laser Cut Specialty Paper. This is one of those that has a nice square, but then it has these beautiful little leaves that come off in gold. Obviously, you can layer it with some of the other dies from the set here to really create a fun look. This is that embossing folder back behind that embosses the top and the bottom and then your, your nice little uh, focal point in the center. Just really a pretty look. Now the next one is kind of similar in that it uses some more of the Forever Gold Laser Cut Specialty Paper. I used the larger kind of uh, Boston Fern one and I thought it paired really well with this particular design of the DSP here. And then again, a piece of pretty peacock back behind run be with the embossing folder. The thank you is from actually another stamp set. And the ribbon is not part of the suite, but that pretty peacock ribbon is just a gorgeous match and fit with this suite as well. I added some of the gilded gold uh, gems on here too to accent the gold leaf. The next card, I did something just a little different. It's actually on an old olive card base. And then I took a piece of Whisper White cardstock and I masked off with post-it notes around to make a rectangle. And then I took the Stampin' Sponges in Pretty Peacock, Garden Green, and I added a little bit of Granny Apple Green at the end to give it that bright punch of green on that end. And then I made sure it was completely dry before I white embossed two of the leaf stamps from this bundle. Just thought that turned out really cute. Very simple, sweet card there. A couple little black splatterings on there with a few little rhinestones and the hello that comes with this bundle. Now, to show its versatility, and because uh, I wanted to be a little timely here with fall and autumn approaching, I decided to change up the colors. 
So I use terracotta tile as my card base here. There's a little piece of crumb cake back here with some very vanilla run through the dainty embossing folder. And then I simply took all those stamps and I stamped them in fall colors. I have Cajun Craze here. I have Berry Burst. I have Bumblebee. Uh, I think there's Mossy Meadow on here. And just after I punched all those out, played with them and put them in kind of a swag of design here. And then I threw in some of our uh, braided linen thread up there and the cute little hello there over the top of that uh, leaf embossing folder that comes in the suite. Okay, so remember you can change up the colors and get a completely different look. Now with that said, I thought this would be a great bundle to make holiday cards. So, as most of you know, I'm not a huge holiday card maker uh, until about October, and so this is a little early for me, but I really wanted to show you some samples. So this one is a garden green card base. I took some of the leaf uh, images, stamped them in diff two different greens here, and then I took this little swag here, twig, whatever you want to call it there, and stamped it in uh, Cherry Cobbler, which I thought really made a beautiful little accent in red there. Almost looks like berries. And then these are some of those dies that don't coordinate with the stamp. They're just kind of on their own. And I ran those through some of the Stampin' Up! Silver Metallic paper to give it that really holiday look. The next holiday card shows off one of the gold laser cuts, specialty paper wreaths. Now look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Very easy. It kind of does all the work for you. I just layered a couple circles on there with a little dainty uh, embossing folder on that white one to show it off. Added the Merry Christmas, the gold trim that goes with this suite. And then I did add some of the, um, oh, it's the plaid tidings uh, DSP as a background on this one. But I just love how this wreath is so easy and so pretty and very festive for holiday, I think. And then my last holiday card, for somebody who doesn't like to make holiday cards, I whipped out three of them pretty quick with this bundle. Um, I went ahead and used a very vanilla card base with some old olive here. This is real red card stock run through the dainty embossing folder. And then I just took some of those leaf stamps again, stamped them, cut them out with the dies. Again, these little berries, almost look like berries in here, stamped in real red. And then this cute little die that comes in this bundle, uh, just with the silver metallic paper here, just makes that look so holiday-ish, doesn't it? And I threw on some of the real red stitched ribbon there. I thought this turned out really cute. So as you can see, even though a suite is presented in, you know, using certain colors, you can change things up and create whatever uh, you need for season or holiday, okay? All right, so now let me proceed with showing you the class to go kit cards. So here they are. This one is a little different in that it's kind of a fun fold. I have a little circle cut out here that's overlaying another circle cut out on the inside. Okay, so when you fold it closed, it's hidden, and when you open it, there you have it. Okay, so it's kind of a fun little different fold. And then this one, I changed it up just because, like I said, it's timely with autumn and fall. I just wanted to change up the colors and make them just a little more uh, autumnal. And so I think this card was a really pretty way to do that. So, how do you get a free card kit to create these cards. With the purchase of the Forever Fern bundle for $54, you would receive supplies to create two of each of these cards. That includes the pre-cut card stock, designer series paper, embellishments, ribbons, envelope to complete the kit cards. I do need to charge a $4 postage fee. The kit will be mailed to you from me and any Stampin' Up! products you order will be shipped 
to you from Stampin' Up! Once you have all your Stampin' Supplies, you're ready to simply sit and stamp with this video as your guide. The kit does all the creativity for you and you get to stamp in the comfort and safety of your home. So how do you get a class to go kit? You can contact me via email, which is provided at the bottom of this post, or you could message me on Facebook or on my YouTube page. You'll find a step-by-step -step detail, uh, including all of the uh, information to be able to order. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Now, because everyone has different stamp stashes, you need you may not need have all the products that I'm using in this kit card. So I offer many products in what I call an add-on list. You can receive a 10% discount on these add-on items with the purchase of the class to go card kit bundle. I will do my best to try and point out as many of these add-on items in my video today as I can. It's important to point out, however, the 10% discount will only be available when you send me your order through an email or on uh, Messenger. Uh, I must place the order for you for you to be able to get the 10% discount. It's the only way I can do it. Again, if you have any questions about any of this, do not hesitate to get a hold of me. So let's get to demonstrating these kit cards. So I think I'm actually going to start with this one today. Again, this is kind of a nice little fun fold card here. When your kit arrives, it will have these supplies here in addition to an envelope. The base is just jade cardstock cut at four and a quarter by 11. It's scored at five and a half and two and three quarters. <coughs> Excuse me. You'll also receive a piece of very vanilla that's four by five and a quarter and two pieces of designer series paper, a piece of pretty peacock cardstock, two white pieces of, uh, ver of whisper white, and they'll be about three and a quarter by three and a quarter square. You'll also receive one of the gold hoops that's part of this suite. And you'll receive a little leaf from the gold laser cut cutouts. Okay? All right, so let's start with our base here. Okay? You'll have a score line here. Go ahead and fold this just like you would any other card right down the middle. Then you have this score line at two and three quarters. And you simply take and fold the card back on itself. Okay, and give ourselves a nice crisp fold with the bone folder. I'm going to take the larger piece of designer series paper and run some stamp and seal down two sides of it. I don't know if you have noticed, but stamp and seal is very um, strong and you really don't need to use as much uh, as we have in the past with stamp uh, with the snail. Okay, so I'll go ahead and place that there. Now I want to grab my pretty peacock piece here and I'm going to take it over and run it through my big shot. And I'm going to use the little line leaf folder, okay? So bear with me while I do this here. This is one of the thinner dies, and so you just sandwich it between two clear plates to run it through. Once I have that, I'm going to take the multi-purpose adhesive and attach that there on my flap. Okay. Isn't that pretty already? Just look at those blues and greens. Absolutely gorgeous. 
All right, the next thing I want to do is, let's go ahead and finish up our big shot uh, things, uh, die cutting things that we need to do. So you'll need your two white uh, pieces, and you'll also need your smaller DSP piece, okay? And we're going to run the white pieces through a circle die. Now, I don't know if many of you have the circle dies or have access to some way to cut circles, but Stampin' Up! has a set of circle dies. There are scallop circles, and that also comes with just the straight edge circles. And for this project, I'm using the largest and the second to largest, okay? So I'm gonna pull those out. These circle dies will be included as an add-on item to this class, okay? So you can get those at 10% discount if you don't already have them. You're going to take the larger die and you're going to cut out two white circles, okay? So you'll end up with this, okay? And then from your smaller piece of DSP, you're going to cut out the next size circle, the smaller circle that we pulled here, and you're gonna cut out a circle out with the designer series paper, okay? So I went ahead and I did those just to save time a little bit and be able to show you there exactly what I cut out. So we'll have those pieces there. If you want, you can go ahead, we'll put just a little bit of multi-purpose glue on the back side of this DSP. And that will get attached to one of your whisper white circles. Go ahead and just that like that and let it dry. Now we're gonna do a little stamping. So I'm gonna pull in just a blotter here to save my surface. And on your other circle, you're going to need some ink. And these are the colors of ink I'm using. I just think these are gorgeous together. Garden Green, Pretty Peacock, Crushed Curry, and Just Jade, okay? And these ink colors, pads, and ink refills would be 10% off items added to this bundle for this card kit, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull out my Crushed Curry. and my Pretty Peacock. I'm also going to pull out this leaf image and these words. In just a second, I'll grab a block here. But I'm using the To a Friend That Makes Me Smile. Okay, and this is gonna go on the inside of our card. So I'm going to take the leaf and I'm gonna ink it up and stamp it in crushed curry. And because I don't want this to be super bold, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna stamp it off onto my blotter here first, and then I'm gonna come over here onto my circle and it'll be much lighter there. So that that way, when I go to ink up my words in the Pretty Peacock, and go to stamp them on here, they're gonna show much nicer. And I'm kind of putting them up in that right-hand corner, kind of over that leaf, leaving a little bit of white here if you wanted to make a little note or something in this card when you send it, okay? All right, so the next step is to go ahead and attach the inside circle to your card. And what I want to do here is I want it to be about half, okay? Of course, I want it to be centered top to bottom with the card, top to bottom here and here, but I want this fold to be about half of the circle, okay? Now, I'm going to go and attach this one next when I attach this one though, I don't want any glue over here because that's gonna be the flap of our card, okay? I only wanna put glue on this side of it. So I'm gonna line this up so that I know it's covering that bottom circle there. And then I'm just gonna take my finger 
and I'm just going to kind of mark here with it exactly where it stops. So that way I know how far that glue needs to go. Okay, and I don't want to pass that because I don't want any glue on the back side that goes over my inside message. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, line this up over my circle of the insert inside and just press firmly. And there you created that little bit of a unique closure there, okay? A little bit of a fun fold, like I said, okay? All right, I think we'll set that aside now. And then we're going to grab our piece of larger Whisper White that you uh, have in your kit. And we're going to need that same leaf stamp that we just used. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to stamp that in the crushed curry up in the right hand corner here of my whisper white piece and i'm going to go ahead and open my garden green and open my just jade the little bit larger leaf that's in the stamp set i'm going to take that i'm going to ink it in garden green And I'm just going to pop it up here in that left-hand corner. Just make sure that you give yourself enough space, remembering that we're going to take dies to be able to cut these out. So between your images, allow enough space so that those dies don't end up over, excuse me, overlapping at all. Then this one, I actually mounted both of those smaller leaf uh, images on and I'm going to ink those in the Just Jade. And those are going to get stamped right down here in the bottom right hand corner. And then those that stamp that almost looks like berries, I'm going to ink them in the Pretty Peacock color. And those are going to get stamped down here in the lower left hand corner. Okay. Once you have all of those stamped, you're ready to take them over and cut them. And let me just pull out the coordinating dies right here like this. And one of my tricks is to make sure that they stay where they need to stay is I will bring the plate over here. And I will go ahead and take the dies and I'm going to put just a little bit of washi tape on those just to make sure they hold in place. So I'm finding that a lot of the new dies are very lightweight, okay? They don't really um, hold well to the paper or the plate. Uh, there is a magnetic platform, obviously, that will hold things in place as well. But I'm finding lately that it's just as easy to take a little bit of washi tape and attach it to each one so that it holds them in place and they don't slip and slide between the plates. And you don't need very much. Obviously, washi tape is a low tack tape, so it peels off very nicely. I'm going to take this over to my Big Shot, and I'm going to punch these out. And what you end up with is this. The thing that I just forgot to tell you is you also want to pull out this little die and you just want to sneak him in somewhere, okay? There should be plenty of room on your piece of Whisper White that I give you in the kit to be able to just sneak him in somewhere because he's just going to be plain white, okay? So that's what I have here now after I punch those out. I have all these pieces here, okay? And here's our little white guy. So 
The next thing I want to do is bring my card base back over here. And I'm going to take my hoop and use a glue dot. Kind of attach that glue dot, kind of push it down in there so it'll pick it up. And that's exactly what it did. And the area where I attach the glue dot will go down here in this left-hand corner, okay? And that's enough just to hold it for the moment, okay, while we're working with it, all right? So the next thing, then we're just gonna begin to layer all of our little leaf pieces on here. I'm gonna start working from this top corner down. I'm going to take my multi-purpose glue and attach a little bit down here, and I am gonna bring it up onto some of those leaves. And I think what I might do too is go ahead and trim that stem off that. It's not gonna show. But that way it will not uh, peek through down below as I start to build all my other little elements on here. Okay, Just kind of press and hold that a little bit. Now, I'm attaching this multi-purpose glue. Uh, you also could use uh, dimensionals if you wanted to. I think there's enough hold here between these that it's going to hold that on there. But a dimensional would kind of be along the same line. I'm going to trim that stem off this one. And I'm just going to take dimensionals and place on this side and this side of this little leaf image. Okay, and I am going to use the little mini dimensionals. I think they'll work a little nicer. So I'm just showing you both methods. You can uh, choose to use whichever one will work best for you. So this one's going to go just down a little bit farther, just like that. You can also kind of bring up those leaves just a little bit to give it just a little bit more dimension. Okay. The next thing I want to attach is my little gold uh, foil cutout. And this are these sometimes are a little tricky to attach, but I'm just going to take my multi-purpose glue and I'm just going to add glue down here at the very bottom of it, okay? I'm really hitting that stem heavy with it and these bottom leaves. And I should be able to just poke that back behind and any glue that uh, oops out will <laughs> Uh, be behind this leaf here. Now I'm going now I don't know if you've noticed but these are actually mirrored image these two little leaves here and so I always I kind of like to put them like that where I put them together and they fit really nicely at the bottom of this hoop okay so again I'm just going to add some dimensionals to the back side here of those and I think, again, I'm going to come in here and just cut off the stems on those. I think they'll just lay nicer, and there won't be any risk of any extra little um, hoops hanging out. I'm just going to put these right down here at the base. There you go. Press firmly to hold those into place there. And now I am left with this guy. Now, I am going to take my trim, paper snips, I guess I should call them, not trimmers. I'm going to trim the extra off here uh, and make these into two, okay? So I basically just cut off these three to the left, and then I left this main stem here like this. I'm going to go ahead and trim off the stem of that one as well. And that allows me to have two now to be able to use and intersperse uh, in my little branch here on the side of the wreath. And I think I'm gonna come in back behind that gold foil leaf and just pop that one back there. And then this one down here, same thing. I'm just using multi-purpose glue. It's gonna get put right here over the top of that yellow or crushed curry leaf there on the side. Okay. 
Now we need our sentiment, all right? So in your kit, you will also have a little strip of Whisper White. And I'm going to take the cute hello that's in this set and go ahead and stamp that in Pretty Peacock. I'm going to give that chance to dry there a little bit because I realize I forgot this cute little guy. I don't know why I keep forgetting him today. Anyway, I just love this little die. So again, like we did with that other piece, I'm just going to cut this right down the middle because then I'll have two. Put a little bit of multi-purpose glue. Come in here underneath my gold leaf and pop one of them. And the other one, I'm going to come down here and have it come out right there. Okay, just adds a little bit of extra white there. I just like that. Now go ahead and take paper snips and we're going to trim up our hello just a little bit. Nothing fancy. Um, you can do this on your paper trimmer if you want. I just kind of get in the habit sometimes of using my paper snips to trim it. And then I'm going to add some mini dimensionals on the back side of it that are just going to fit, it looks like. Go ahead and peel those away. And then I thought this needed just a little bit more gold uh, to go to kind of pop out that gold hoop. The hello just goes right in the middle of where those two little leaves met. Okay, so to achieve that and get a little bit more gold on there, I'm going to use some of the greenery ribbon combo pack, and I'm going to use some of this gold trim, which I think is gorgeous, and I'm just going to tie a nice little bow. The one thing with this um, trim is it does fray very easily, the ends do. So once you're done working with whatever you're doing and you trim off the end, just know that the end's going to fray. But I think it actually adds uh, some style and a little bit of elegance to your card when you do that, or when it does that. So it's just automatically going to fray. I can make it fray right there, but either way, it's going to fray. Okay. So I thought this looked cute, just kind of planted right there in the center. Sometimes our glue dots are a little too big for something like this, so I'll take my paper piercer tool here, my pick a tool, and I'm going to take a glue dot and just fold it over on itself, okay, before I pick it up off there, okay? And then I'm going to place it right in there above that hello. A little bit of it might even go underneath that hello, and then come over here and attach my bow right on there. And those little tails, I think they look cute, just kind of tucked underneath the hello, just like that. Okay. Isn't that fun? A fun little card, isn't it? I just think that's really cute. Okay. Like that. All right, so that's the first card with this Plastigo kit. Now on to the second one. Just to remind you, is this one here. So I did change up the colors just a little bit from this suite, just to give it a little bit more of an autumnal feel, okay? So when you receive your card kit, it will have these supplies here, okay? You'll have a half sheet of Whisper White cardstock, You'll have a half sheet of terracotta tile that is scored at four and a quarter. You'll have a piece of Whisper white cardstock that measures four by five and a quarter. You'll have a piece of very vanilla that measures four by five and a quarter. You'll have a piece of Whisper white that measures three and three-fourths by five. 
And then you'll just have some uh, scraps of Old Olive, Pretty Peacock, and Smoky Slate. And you'll also have a little narrow strip of Old Olive cardstock. Okay? All right, so let's start with the base. Go ahead and give yourself a nice fold there on that scored line. One of the Whisper White pieces of cardstock that's four by five and a quarter will be your inside card piece. So we'll go ahead and just attach that. Okay. Now, let's start building our card. So you have a piece of very vanilla that's going to be a layering piece there like that. And then you have a smaller piece of Whisper White that's that 3 and 3 fourths by 5 piece there. And this piece we're going to do just a little something to. I'm going to go ahead and add some little flex, which is happens to be a stamp that is in this set, okay? I just think this looks so cute on here, and it kind of gives you that same image or same idea of flecking, uh, like we have done like with markers and stuff, right? So just kind of down from one top corner to the bottom corner, I just kind of gave myself a few little flecks there, all right? Then this piece is going to get run through the embossing folder that has the designs at the top and the bottom. And all I'm going to do is just center that, okay? I'm centering it side to side and I'm centering it top to bottom because obviously the piece of cardstock is not as big as the die, okay? And then I'm just going to run this through the big shot over here. Remember when you run folders through the die cutting machine, you want to run it seam first. It just helps your embossing folders uh, last a little longer. And this is what you have then, okay? Isn't that fun? All right, now, some people have issues with white and cream together. I actually think they look very elegant together. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to attach this Whisper White piece to my Very Vanilla piece here. Um, I think it's a beautiful combination for weddings. Um, I just think they make very simple, uh, elegant cards when you uh, put vanilla and white together. So I don't have issue with it, but there are some people who can't mix those, and, and that's fine. I'm just layering that there on top. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to do to build our card is add some of the greenery cream-colored ribbon here. Okay, so I'm going to cut myself off a piece that's just wide enough here. And this ribbon is so light um, that you can use scotch tape to hold it on the back side. Or what I've been doing with this ribbon is just putting a little bit of stamps, stamp and seal on it, and it holds it perfectly. Okay, it's just such a nice light ribbon there. Okay, really pretty. On the back side of this, I'm going to go ahead and add some dimensionals. And after we get this put on, then we get to go to the fun part and do some stamping. But we've basically created the bottom layer of our card. Now something I did just a little bit different with this card is I really uh, placed this way over onto the right side a little bit. So you have a little bit more showing on this left side and it just kind of off skew a little bit just for a little interest for the eye. Okay. All right. So next we're going to grab our big half sheet of Whisper White cardstock. All right. And we're going to grab our stamps. And so just for a minute, bear with me because I'm going to run them all over my Stampin' Chamois here and get them clean from the last card because I am using uh, completely different colors on this card. 
And we're gonna start first with this larger leaf stamp. And I'm going to use my terracotta tile ink for it. Ink it up here. And I'm gonna give myself two of these, okay? Remembering to space them apart nicely because keeping in mind that you're going to run them through uh, the big shot and you don't want the dies to uh, touch or be too close. The next one I'm going to take is this leaf image here and I'm going to grab the garden green ink pad and I'm going to stamp it once. Without re-inking it, I'm going to stamp it again. And that way it will give me two different shades of green for that one. The next I want to grab is the Crushed Curry ink pad. And I'm going to grab these two little matching twigs here. And those are going to get placed over here. And then I want my little um, sprig of, I don't know, I just keep thinking they look like berries. But anyway, I'm just gonna stamp these in some smoky slate. I thought adding smoky slate to this card really added kind of a modern uh, contemporary look to it. Okay, I'm gonna stamp that there like that. Now, I have a little extra room here, uh, so I thought it would be nice to actually stamp your greeting for this card, which is uh, one of the sentiments from the stamp set, um, love and laughter forever after. And so I'm gonna use the Tuxedo, Memento Tuxedo ink pad and ink that one up. And I'm just gonna take it and stamp it right down here in the corner of this piece, okay? That way you had, I didn't have to give you a, uh, another scrappy piece of white. You could just stamp it right here on your, the one you're using here. Okay? Just like that. Now, this is going to get run through the Big Shot. And I did not pre-cut these out, so bear with me here. We'll go ahead and get our dies out again that still have our little piece of washi tape on them. So... It makes it a little quicker as you grab things. Go ahead and place that one there. And then remember this is a two stamps with two. I like that Stampin' Up! sometimes gives us two different uh, uh, dies for the same image so that you can uh, punch out multiples really nicely. And then here's this one here. Okay, So I'm going to run these through real quick. Bear with me. I am really impressed with the new uh, Stampin' Up! die cut machine. Um, it has been working beautifully for me. Uh, the plates, I will add to, uh, I am not finding that they are bowing in any way. Uh, I can run things through just once and it punches them out beautifully. Um, so I've been really impressed with the quality and the way it's been working for me lately. So we'll go ahead and take this one. We have these here. Remember that washi tape is a very um, non-stick kind of tape, so things actually punch out of it very nicely or come apart from it very nicely. So I have my other leaf here that I need to cut a second one of, and I have this one here that I need to cut a second one of. Okay, so I'm going to take it back over and do that quick. And then I think we will have all our pieces. 
that we need right there, okay? To be able to start building our card here. Oh, no, I take it back. So also in your kit, you will remember you have your piece of old olive, your piece of pretty peacock, and your piece of smoky slate. No, no pretty peacock in this kit. I'm sorry, I think that was left from the first kit. I'm sorry. Uh, so the uh, old olive, you will use this die to punch out, and the smoky slate, you will use this die to punch that one out. So those complete our dies that we need to build the card. Okay? All right, so let's grab our base card back in here. And I think the first one I'm going to place down is this larger uh, piece uh, leaf with the uh, old olive. And again, I'm just going to come in here with my multi-purpose glue and add a little bit of adhesive here. Tuck it behind that ribbon and up here, kind of towards the top left, so that it comes out up here. The next ones I'm going to use are the terracotta tile ones. Just going to place that kind of right there over the top. Again, taking my finger and kind of pinching those two between it so it brings it up and gives it a little more dimension. Then I'm going to pop this second one in just a little higher and off to the right here. I'm going to take my smoky slate little branch. Again, adding just a little bit of multi-purpose glue. And I think I'm actually going to sneak it behind. Just like that. Making sure it's not hanging over the edge of your card there. And then I'm going to take the stamped off leaf. Remember the garden green one that I stamped off? A little bit lighter shade here up at the top. One of my little crushed curry leaf pieces. Put that right over here to the right. You can see how I'm tucking the stem so that it's hiding down underneath that ribbon there. I'm going to do the same down below. I'm going to grab that other garden green piece. Pop it just over here on the right hand side. My other crushed curry piece is going to kind of go here in the middle. And then my last little smoky slate piece here of berries is going to go right over here, coming out from underneath there like that, okay? So that you have all your pieces like that, okay? Really nice, isn't it? Okay, now our greeting is on our white piece that we punched out our things from. And so I'm going to bring my paper cutter in here and bring that over. And we're just going to give this a nice little straight cut here. Just like that. And I'll come up here so you can see it and cut like that, just like that, okay? Now you have a little piece of old olive, a little strip here that I gave you. I just thought it needed a little something extra down here at the bottom uh, when I put the card together just for a focal. So um, just to kind of bring the eye down and make a little line. So I went ahead and just took a little bit of multi-purpose glue along the bottom edge of the sentiment and I just added this I think sometimes these little small details that you do can add so much to a card. And it just, when you go to look at them, it just gives it uh, a finished look. So I'm going to go ahead and just trim off the extras there and there. Okay. And then this gets attached with some dimensionals. I'm going to go ahead and use three, which is a lot for me. But we are sticking it over the top of a ribbon. And if you find that it's still a little loose, 
after you attach it. I'll show you a little trick here. So we're going to take this and just place it way over to the far right here, okay? And because that is over the ribbon, see how that's just a little loose there? So what you can do is take your, pick a tool, grab yourself a glue dot, and you should be able to work your way under the ribbon and throw a little glue dot down there underneath that ribbon. And that's going to help hold that and stabilize that just a little bit better, okay? All right, now to finish this card off, I thought it needed a little bit of bling. So I'm pulling in the Elegant Faceted Gems. I am in love with these. They're clear, have a little champagne look, and then there's a little frosted uh, look to them as well. And I just love the way these mix uh, in a card, and especially one like this where we're just kind of uh, doing kind of a subtle uh, mix of colors and textures and so I thought these just looked really nice on here. So I'm going to go ahead and just add some here and there. You will be given plenty that you can place them wherever you'd like. I'll put that one up there and then we have another smaller gem available I think we'll put right there okay really pretty and what I'm realizing as I uh, place those on that card I actually forgot the bling on the first card so I'm gonna pull this one back in and we're going to use some of the gold glimmer enamel dots on this one the larger ones sometimes you can get by with just picking up with your fingers to be able to use to pull uh, in. Um, but sometimes these smaller ones work so much better with our pick a tool here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But yes, you will have some gold glimmer dots uh, included in your class to go card kit so that you can have some uh, little finishing touch here on this card as well. Okay, go ahead and pull. I think we'll put some down here too on this back. So when you go to open this, you'll have just a little bit of bling uh, kind of on your inside there too, okay, as you open it. Okay, so there's the bling for that. So here are the cards for this kit. Like I told you, I have been so excited to show you this suite of products. They are absolutely gorgeous, and I have had so much fun creating with them. Um, so you would receive supplies to make two of each of these cards here with the purchase of the Forever Greenery Bundle. I hope you enjoyed these cards today. Um, I have enjoyed creating with them so much, like I said, and I think you hopefully can see that they're very, it's a very versatile bundle of products um, that you could use for many occasions. I feel like Stampin' Up! really outdid themselves when they mixed up all these beautiful greens to create this gorgeous suite. So I hope you take advantage of my class to go card kit and pick up this bundle um, as well as maybe some of its coordinating suite of products with my special 10% off discount. So everyone stay well. Until next time, take care.